Hey guys, welcome back. I am Stu and this is Amity Airfield for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. We have completed this scenario once, but I wanted to try and push the guest numbers on a scenario and I think this would be one of the better ones to try it with. Build a flying themed amusement park in this abandoned airport. Your objective to have at least 3,000 guests in your park at the end of October year 4 with a park rating of at least 600. So we already know what we need to do because we've, we've done it before. We just need to build lots and lots of things we are charging for entry we've got some um, transport rides we've got a lot of gentle rides i'm not going to use any of them we've got coasters so i'm thinking i'm going to use a compact inverted coaster i've got a drop cutback design that i've got a tutorial for in the tutorial section i'm going to use that quite a lot um thrill rides no water rides and a load of shops. We are going to use a load of shops. We've got an ATM. That's going to be very handy. So I'm going to put all my research into roller coasters. So I already know from playing it before that there's a flawless coaster that's going to come out at some point. So I think I'm going to use that as well. But for for starters, I'm going to use that compact inverted coaster. I'm going to spam a load of those and we're just going to see how high we can push the guest numbers once we complete the scenario i'll keep pushing it and pushing it and then maybe in the end we'll need to advertise just to get the guest numbers in but let's just have a bit of fun let's see how high we can get it we're still in march year one and i've built my coasters there i just built the one and then i've spammed i've saved the design and spammed the rest as well um, i saved it with the path in as well and that way then it enables me to build all this very very quickly i've put bins down and shops laid out there and then i'm going to put merchandise stores then facing the exits give us some extra cash because we are going to need a lot of money um the guests are starting to come in in their droves so i'm just going to crack on i'm going to carry on building this same coaster i've kept all that i haven't got rid of that yet i might do in the future if we need the money i'm going to build them across to the end and then i'm going to build them all the way down that end and then hopefully by the time i finish that the the um flawless coaster will have unlocked october year one so i've carried on building just down this side i've got my balloon stalls down we're getting some good money every month six seven eight thousand a month um the rides are costing around three thousand a go just over three thousand so if i build in pairs that gives me um, a total outlay of 6,000. So we need to be making over 6,000 in order to build another two all the way down. So only a couple more to go, and then I can start building the next ride on the other side. October year two, 2,000 guests in the park. We need 3,000, so only another 1,000 to go. We're halfway through, so we're going to do it quite easily. Money-wise, making some good cash now. This one now, same design, but I've got it a little bit lower so so it doesn't make it all the way around just comes down into the cutback and then back up and for some reason it'll do it again i'm not sure why it's set to one circuit but it's just one of the little quirks so there's great stats on it for what it is very very cheap so again i built it added a path saved it and then i've just been spamming them all the way down so what have we got with a compact inverted coaster we've got 22 of those so i should be able to fit another 22 of the flawless coasters along here i've also built a i've also built a monorail as well it's a very very simple loop just goes up and back it's just a just an easy way of getting a load of guests off the paths and onto a ride just to soak up a few extra guests just to um, combat overcrowding. Got a Sphinx as well on the exit. Help boost um, guests liking the scenery. Try and win Try and win a few awards. A few Sphinxes all the way up. Great scenery. Not enough for them though. So, oh well, maybe, um, maybe we're going to have way too many guests. Because the amount of guests that you need to have commenting on, on the scenery is um is a percentage of the total guests you have so the more guests you have in the park the the, the more guests you need commenting on scenery so 
it does get harder and harder the more guests you have but the, the actual scenario itself this is going to be easy we're just going to carry on building down there and by the time we get down to there we should have completed it i would have thought with the rate that the guests are coming in and then the hard work starts then um because we're going to need to try and push push the guest numbers as high as we can october year three we've got three and a half thousand guests in the park so we've had a massive year as far as the guests are concerned we've finished all the coasters we've had 1500 guests this year alone so the park is very very crowded so and the guests are complaining about how overcrowded it is um having said that the queue lines are mostly empty some of them are fairly busy but most of them are empty this area down here was very overcrowded so i built a path all the way down the back just to filter some of the guests away from from where it was busiest down to where it was least busy so as you can see as a result these rides down here are a lot busier than the ones a little bit further up because as soon as they come out here they want to go on a ride so we've already done the scenario the goal so we're going to play it through now for another year and um and then we can crack on with trying to trying to ramp up the guest numbers october year four only another week or so to go until the end of the scenario we need 3,000 guests. We've got just under 5,000, which isn't bad considering we haven't advertised at all. All we've done is we've just been spamming roller coasters. So we came in, we had the compact inverted coaster already unlocked. So I whipped up this little drop cutback design. There is a tutorial in the tutorial section showing how to make it, but it's, it's very simple. And then I saved that with the parvin and this little square loop just at the end of it and then spammed them all the way along cost around three thousand so we were just building them as and when the money came in and then we researched roller coasters we knew there was going to be a flawless coaster unlocked and then i've done something very similar I've just got it a little bit lower because i didn't want it to complete the circuit so it comes down it goes onto the cutback doesn't make it comes back up and for some reason it does it twice not sure why just a little a little quirk um yeah so we've just been building these all the way along we've had a lot of overcrowding so one of the things i've tried to do is built this little monorail here just a loop down to the end of the park and back um try to get some guests off the paths and then i've built this path loop then connecting one side of the park to the other via one-way signs just to get guests from the biz this busy section down here down to where it was least busy and it seems to have worked queue lines are starting to fill up which is cool we are getting a lot of guests complaining about overcrowding and you've got 239 so as a percentage of the guests in the park it's not a huge amount um so what i wanted to do is i wanted to try and push the guest numbers as high as we could so i figured this would be a very very good scenario to do it with and we've done it and it's letting us put our name in because we've beaten the park value or company value that we had the first time we played it Stoo! awesome there you go this will also be a decent stress test for my tablet when i first played this i was playing it on my old tablet and it couldn't handle the amount of guests in the park and the amount of rides in the park it, the the sound the audio and visual the audio and video were going out of sync um, I tried a few times and it it couldn't handle it at all. What I had to do was I had to close the park. I had to complete the scenario with video only, then close the park, let loads of guests out in order to bring it back under control, um, so I could do a sort of an outdraw for the video. Hopefully, with this tablet, we'll be able to handle it no problem. Because the problem, what happens is, if um, if the game's using too much too much power android will save itself and it'll close down any background operations and one of the background operations is the screen recording so hopefully won't have any problems if i have then uh, i'll just have to redo it so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to looking at it looking at the amount of guests is starting to plateau so i think what i'll do is i think i'll start advertising now 
and then I'll keep it going, see how high I can get it. Um, so I might have to rejig some of the pathing, maybe get rid of some coasters or something to free up some pathing to to extend the park down here. Might or might have to add some more rides or something. Maybe add a ride here with um, tons of block sections and tons of trains that we can um, soak up a load of guests. I don't know. We'll just um, play it and, and just see what happens. I'll see you soon. October year five, we've been advertising nonstop since we last spoke. Recently, the guest in the park graph has started a flat line, but the number is still going up. So we seem to have hit the limit that the graph will take. So we've added, we did have, what did we have? About 4,700 when we completed the scenario without advertising. Since advertising, we've now got 6,400. So we're, what's that? Around 1,700 extra guests in the last year. Um, just along here, I've built this monorail just here. So I've added some, I've added some hills just there to try and just to slow it down a bit. Maybe I should add some more. We've still got this monorail as well. Maybe we need a longer monorail. Look at all those balloons, huge amounts. So hopefully the, we're not having any problems with the recording when I did this scenario first time on my old tablet um, we had terrible trouble with the um, audio sync audio visual sync so um, but I think this one will be all right I've got faith in this tablet it's a lot newer it's a lot more powerful so we should be fine so let's carry on advertising and let's see how high we can push it October 6th 7,800 guests in the park non-stop advertising and running on fast forward which is taking ages because even on even on the faster setting it's still fairly slow the park is is rammed now um let's have a look 900 guests complaining that it's too crowded okay so anyway let's just run on fast forward and see what happens next year junior seven eight thousand one hundred and fifty five guests in the park it does seem to be stagnating at the moment. It seems to be plateauing. So I think we've hit the sprite limit because there's only so many sprites that the game can show on screen. And once that happens, it um, it stops putting guests into the park. So the balloons, they count as a sprite. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to close all the balloon stalls. Now, that won't affect all the balloons that have already been sold. but it should minimize the amount that are then going to be in the park and once the ones in the air have disappeared we might start seeing more guests appearing it has it is going up slightly now but it's not going up as quickly as it has been going so i'm gonna shut the, all the balloon stores down see what happens october year seven eight thousand two hundred sixty five guests in the park the guest number is i think we've reached the limit now it did go up once the balloons started to disappear the ones that are in the air there are still a lot of balloons that the guests are holding now that counts as one sprite the guest with the balloon counts as one sprite as soon as they let them go the balloon and the guest that held them count as separate sprites so i was speaking to one of the open rct2 developers broxia and he told me that um little fact about the sprites so i think we've hit the limit now um the the actual roller coasters the cars that sort of thing the the trains they count as sprites as well so i think if i'm going to try and get more than this number of guests in the park i'm going to have to have a completely different design going to have to have less roller coasters in the park um going to have to improve the way i've got my path in because the amount of guests complaining about overcrowding there you go, 1,489 guests. So that's a lot. So I think we're going to have to try something completely different. I like I like the system with the, with the signs. The signs don't count as a sprite. So I like that. But I'm going to have to do something completely different. Maybe make longer exit paths. Um, that way then we can force the guests. Maybe force them to come up and, and around and 
spend a good good bit of time before dumping them back um perhaps bringing them back to different points in the park depending on where they go but i think this was a good a good exercise good um a good little little thing to try to see how many guests we could push onto classic i've heard anecdotal evidence that uh there's the the sprite limit for classic is higher than the roller coaster tycoon 2 the original so i don't know but i haven't seen it yet so clearly this design of park isn't very optimal for trying to get high guest numbers but i mean eight thousand is is pretty high but it would be nice to be able to do nine thousand maybe even ten or higher i don't know how high we can push it but i think maybe another day i'll try it and see what we can do so this was amity airfield we did it without advertising and then tried to get as many guests in the park as we possibly could we've hit the sprite limit so we're not going to get any more but who knows maybe one day we will i am Stu. if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and i'll see you soon bye